Infinity Train is a cartoon about a mystical train full of bizarre characters and creatures where ordinary people are trapped until the train's fantastical trials help them overcome their character flaws. I want to look at an episode that focuses on the lovable superpower dear Alan Dracula. In the season 2 episode The Parasite Car, Alan Dracula is taken over by a green parasite called Perry. Alan Dracula's predicament highlights key themes in Infinity Train season 2. What I want to do here is highlight two key themes, independence being the first and the second being utility, in this context referring to usefulness or using others. Be warned, this will contain major spoilers for Infinity Train. Independence is the more straightforward theme. It is significant to all three characters throughout Season 2. Alan Dracula himself is independence personified. He does what he wants, when he wants. At the beginning of the episode, The Parasite Car, when Jesse and MT try to ride Alan Dracula over disgusting murky swamp water, he splits his body in two just to avoid letting them ride him. Jesse complains about this as he trudges through the muck, wishing Alan Dracula were useful. The idea that someone's independence can be inconvenient for others is not new in Infinity Train. In MT's case, it's an ongoing theme that now that she has escaped Mirror World, she wants to be her own person as much as possible. Mirror Law holds that MT isn't supposed to be able to do anything except act as Tulip's reflection. MT is outraged by the arbitrariness and unfairness of Mirror Law, but she's also comfortable justifying her own unfairness to others if it helps further her goal of independence. This is shown in her first appearance in Season 1 when she was happy to trap Tulip in Mirror World forever if that advanced her goals. In the Parasite Car, however, we see a different side of MT. She is fiercely protective of Alan Dracula. Jesse's over-focus on cooperation and keeping everyone happy leads him to successfully get MT to tolerate Perry, the parasite who crept out of the muck of the swamp to live in Alan Dracula's mouth. Jesse's dependence on making people happy makes him too easy to manipulate. Going back to independence as a theme, it's noticeable how lacking Jesse is in terms of being able to think and act independently of others. The Parasite Car is an episode with various adventures through strange environments Environments, a dramatic catwalk, an adventure involving a pyramid made of food. However, it is the small details that build on the themes. When MT talks about Mirror Law at the beginning of the episode, it's more than interesting world building. It is establishing the thematically important idea that sometimes independence and defying the wishes of others is perfectly healthy. Sometimes it's just about self-protection. When MT defies Mirror Law, she is trying to protect herself and her independence. When Alan Dracula defies Jesse and MT, not to mention when he tries to get rid of Perry the Parasite, he's only trying to protect himself and maintain his independence. In the beginning, Jesse, as always, wants to see the other person's point of view. Jesse is swayed by Perry's case that he'll be a useful addition to the team. That brings us to the second thing, utility, and how Jesse's character development in this episode leads him to understand how wrong Perry is. From almost the moment he starts talking, Perry tries to establish how useful he will be to Jesse and MT. One of the first things he says to Jesse and MT is, I'm practical. Let's tie this theme of utility to Jesse's character arc in season 2 more broadly. Through other episodes of season 2, we know that Jesse has been used by his friends for their own amusement. It seems he hasn't reflected on how callous his hometown friends were in influencing him to act in ways he normally would not, such as when they encouraged him to bully his brother, which he clearly feels guilty about. Jesse wanted friends, and so he did what he thought would make his friends happy. It's not too much of a stretch to imagine that Perry is trying to show how useful he is because he also really wants friends. After all, Perry was alone in the muck of that swamp for a long time. We know through his pitiful complaints at the end of the episode that his previous host was a succulent which he was stuck in for two years. He's desperately lonely, so it's no wonder he's desperate to please Jesse and MT in return for a bit of cheerful companionship. It also shows us a bit of a warped reflection of Jesse's own people-pleasing behaviour. Note how in the first episode of season 2, Jesse tries to make friends with both sides of a feuding family by listening to both sides of the argument and trying to get them to listen to each other. Confronting Perry's parasitic nature led Jesse to see people pleasing in a different light. People pleasing can be callous rather than kind. When Perry insists that he's better than Alan Dracula, a deer that doesn't listen, Jesse snaps back, we don't like him because he listens, we like him because he's Alan Dracula. It's important character development. It highlights the theme that Jesse needs to turn his back on his habit of people pleasing. Alan Dracula doesn't need to listen or be useful to someone in order to be worthy of respect, but neither does Jesse. The episode ends with Jesse and MT realizing that Perry has tricked them and that Alan Dracula wants to get rid of Perry for good. 
Once Jesse gets rid of Perry, Jesse ends up on Alan Dracula's back again. Just as he did at the beginning of the episode, Alan Dracula splits his body in two just to stop Jesse riding him. This time Jesse doesn't complain, he just laughs. Even after Jesse and MT saved his life, Alan Dracula is still going to stay as stubborn and independent as ever. That's what makes him the perfect weird deer for Infinity Train Season 2. But what do you think? Am I reading too much into a goofy episode about a chatty green mouth parasite? And if you have a different take on the episode, don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments. Have a great day and thank you for watching.